This might be my new favorite couple. Let's talk about the book I'm currently reading, One Dark Window by Rachel Gillig. This is my book club's pick for August and I'm so happy because I'm really liking it so far. The magic system in this is so unique compared to really anything else I've read. There is a deck of cards with I think 12 different types of cards and each grants its user a different ability. There have been generations of kings who are trying to collect all 12 types of card so that they can save the kingdom from being devoured by this magical mist. But our main character, Elspeth, joins a group of like traders who are racing to collect their own set of cards first. One of my favorite things about this book is that Elspeth has the spirit of a creature trapped in her mind and so they're able to communicate with one another. I do wish though that it wasn't so obvious as to who the creature is. By chapter three, I was pretty sure I already knew. I would have really liked for the hints to be more obscure or even if Elspeth had discovered his identity sooner, then maybe it would have allowed for more time to discover different things. The love interest, Raven Yu, I'm incredibly fond of him and I'm pretty obsessed with their dynamic. In the beginning, they don't trust each other, but then they soon discover that they need one another's help. The last thing I wanna bring up it's not really a critique, it's more of just personal preference. I quite dislike the rhyming. Above each chapter, there are these excerpts from a book that has the card's origin stories. And then sometimes the creature in her head speaks in rhyme. And I don't know what it is, but it just kind of makes the book feel younger to me. But it's a really small annoyance and it's not affecting my enjoyment of this book at all. One Dark Window ah! <laughs> and I freaking loved it. Five stars, absolutely. Dare I say, ah! <laughs> this might be my new favorite couple, but I'm gonna wait until I read the sequel to like declare that. The last half was so good. There were so many moments actually where like I was just sitting there like mouth agape, like eating it up. I would not have put the book down for anything. This is not a spoiler because it's in the synopsis, but the creature in Elspeth's head is slowly taking over, slowly gaining control. And so I was really curious how far into her condition we were gonna get before the ending. Uh, but the ending was better than I could have hoped for. Something you should know about me though, is I love to be tormented as a reader. 
I want the literal worst possible things to happen to my favorite characters. Honestly, I think this might be my favorite book of the year. Immediately after finishing, I wanted to flip back to the beginning because I wanted to reread it. And that has only ever happened to me one other time. God, I suck at talking about books that I love. I don't think I've said like anything valuable since I've been sitting here. So after absorbing One Dark Window into my heart, I started reading The West Passage by Jared Pekacek. I shan't be giving you a synopsis, so just pause if you'd like to read it. The cover of the book is gorgeous. It's so fantastical, so intriguing, and unfortunately, it's the only thing that I liked about this book. I DNF'd this just after 50 pages, and it was a struggle to even get that far. It's the same reason that I DNF'd Fathom Folk. I just cannot read a book that I can't visualize. This was odd though, because the descriptions for smaller things, so for example, like a room, were perfectly fine. But when it came to this like ginormous castle with all of these different towers, there just wasn't enough there to help my brain form the image. I would have really liked a drawing or a map. This is the type of book where you go in and it's a lot of information, a lot of world building all at once. And I think for some readers, wanting to know what's going on, wanting to understand is what entices them to continue on in a book. But I was just lost. I was confused. And this book, I was not the intended audience. I've seen people compare this to Alice in Wonderland. I think for like the weird unknown of it all. So if that sounds like your thing, The West Passage. <laughs> 